Hi there, this is Umesh from Piximperfect and today we're gonna learn a quick and easy way to make the background completely white if the image was taken in a relatively brighter background. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this photo was submitted by Pasi Arvenpa. Thank you so much Pasi for this photo. Before we begin, I gotta say that if you're looking for a tutorial where you want to make the background completely white but the image that you have taken is not in a bright background, check out this tutorial. The only difference that's going to be there is that it's going to take a little more time but that's by far the best way to do it. So this is a really quick way. So the first thing that we have to do is to create a levels adjustment layer. So click on the adjustment layer icon and choose levels. Now we're going to use the concept of clipping to our advantage. Now what is clipping? Clipping is when the brights or the darks are so bright or so dark that there are no details in them. So as you can see the background is relatively brighter. If we make it so bright that there are no details in them, it will become white. Easy, right? So inside of the curves properties, this slider makes the bright areas brighter and this slider makes the dark areas darker. So let's zoom in and we want to make the bright areas brighter so much so that it just becomes white. Focus on the sentence, just or the phrase just becomes white, not more than that. So we have to find that sweet spot. If we go too much, yes, the background becomes completely white, but the hair fries up, the skin doesn't look right. We will take care of that later, but you have to find that sweet spot. So here's how we find the sweet spot. First of all, let's zoom in quite a bit and then take the slider slowly and gradually to the left. And just when the background becomes completely white, stop. One great way of doing this is by holding the Alt or Option and then when you take it to the left, you see these artifacts? These are the areas where we do not have any details, which means they are going completely white. So take it to the left and just when it touches the hair, stop. So at this point, I think it should stop. It's kind of too much. Okay, this is a sweet spot. Let's stop right there. But as you can see, some of the areas are still remaining. So we will have to make that sacrifice of hair. Yes. And then hold the Alt or Option and take it more inside. Just stop over here. All right. This is fine. This looks fine. Let's fit the canvas to the screen by pressing Control or Command Zero. Now, as you can see, as we added the levels adjustment layer, the background went completely white. Okay, but the skin is not looking right. She has become more brighter. We have to take care of that. Easy. Make sure you select the mask. All adjustment layers come with a mask and then press Ctrl or Command I. Now the effect has been taken away from the complete image. So here's what we have to do. Zoom in, take the brush and paint the background. Easy. You don't have to be super accurate about this. Just make the brush bigger. Make sure it is softer and start painting with white as a foreground color flow and opacity at 100 mode normal. All right, start painting around the edges first. Make sure you paint only around the edges. Be careful around here. Once you have painted the edges, filling out the rest of the areas is going to be easy. So hold the Alt or Option and click on the mask. You see the mask? Just fill in the rest of the areas. Make the brush bigger, make it harder and just simply fill in the rest. All right, so there we go. Hold the Alter option again and click on the mask to bring it back. Now, as you can see, it's still not completely white. We can take care of that later. Let's hold the Alt or option and let's see where it is. It's almost completely white and that's that looks pretty good. Now, we have to make a selection of just her because the corners are not going to be completely white. And if we try to make it, the hairs will fry up. So here's what we do. Come back to the background layer in which your subject is. Just with the lasso tool or any selection tool which is your favorite, just stay a little outside and make a rough selection of her. Just a rough selection. You don't have to be super accurate about this. Just a rough selection. All right. And then what we have to do, just click on the mask button. Create a solid color adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color and choose white and put it behind her. We have a completely white background. Now let's zoom in and there might be some discrepancies in this background, this and 
We can easily clone that out by coming back to this one and using the clone stamp tool, we can easily clone that out. Zoom in quite a bit and let's make sure that we are sampling from current layer because we don't want to touch any other layers. Just take a sample from here by holding the Alt or Option, clicking on over here, match it over there just like that or take a sample from here, match it over there and then simply just paint that out. Okay, that is taken care of. Similarly, you can take a sample, match it right in there and it's not matching, we have to rotate it. So to rotate it, let's take a sample here or there. Let's take a sample and to rotate it, hold the Alt, Shift and the left arrow bracket key. In a Mac, that would be Option, Shift and the left arrow bracket key. So hold that, it rotates the clone and then just take that away. Easy, right? Let's take a sample and take this away. Similarly, let's take that away. All right, that is taken care of. We have a completely white background. So you can extend it the way you want it. For example, you want to create a sales banner in your website. So press C to open up the crop tool and you can extend it just like this. For example, let it be like that. Let's press Control or Command zero to fit the canvas to the screen. It looks pretty good. Maybe you want to extend it even more. So let's extend it even more to this size and hit enter once you're satisfied. As you can see, since the background is completely white by the use of a solid color adjustment layer, it actually fills in that area. Now, you can bring in anything that you like. So I already have in Illustrator one of the things downloaded, one elements. So I'll just select it, copy it by pressing Control or Command C, come back to Photoshop and paste it. Control or Command V. I wanna paste it as a smart object, hit OK. And there you have it. Let's make it a little bigger and place it over here. And I want to place it at the top. Now let's resize it by pressing Ctrl or Command T and then resize it the way you like it and we are pretty much done. White background, subject, looking awesome and there you go. Just so you know, I'm using the same trick to make this background completely white. It's actually a wall. Just as a quick recap, all you have to do, make the brights brighter. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pixel Perfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.